What's up guys, Jared333 here. I want to make a video. I just saw the uh, Boonk Repents video. And I know, and I don't want to give attention to anything negative in this video. But we're going to talk about a few things, key things. Nothing negative. When I say negative, I mean, some people say, oh, you hear how he was crying and this and that. No, we're not talking about it. Emotions, human emotions. We're talking about the spirit and where you come from, who you are. Okay, so let's start with who you are. So we're all different personalities. Okay, we come from heaven, as you've seen in Ecclesiastes. Look up the video that I posted about the spirit sown to the body. Type in Jared 33 spirit sown to the body. How it's done is in a spiritual manner also. We're not going to get further into that though in this video. I want to talk about something that he said in the video that you are never alone. Which is 100% facts and truth. You are never alone. And he brought up something that he said when he was really sad. Then he felt a touch that had comforted him. There's a scripture that says on your lowest... You are the most closest to God when you're on your lowest. Now, why do you think that is? Why do you think everybody loves Jesus so much? He's an extremely humble person. Spirit, no. Was well, persona. He also has a personality, has a will. But he's very humble and lowly. When I say lowly, I don't mean like you know, poor and anything like that. I don't want you to get the wrong connotation as to lowly. I want you to think of humility when I say lowly. I want you to think of people you tend to judge one another constantly on, on looks because we're in the physical realm. You're always going to have somebody judging you. And uh, one of the reasons why a lot of humans love animals is because animals don't really judge you. Animals are non-judgmental, which is actually a great quality quality they have that humans uh, uh, a great quality they possess. But one of the reasons why we judge is because we have a conscience and we know certain things. So we have that ability to to uh, be able to judge, but the measure that you're measuring out to others will be measured out to you, which meaning the, w the way that you judge others after you pass, the Bible is saying, will be judged onto you. I don't judge people, okay? Um, but yeah, you are not alone in everything you do. I believe, and you may find this silly, and you will not find the scriptures in the Bible, I believe we are all small pieces of God and we're all connected at the same time we're separate and different personalities and different but uh, yeah there's a scripture that talks about the cord the silver cord before the silver cord is cut that silver cord connects all of us to each other and to heaven the Bible only speaks about that scripture in one verse look up uh, just look up silver cord and you'll see different things about it but I'm telling you it just connects us together it's like a spider web it's like a web like the world wide web but we're connected so our spirit is always connected so that's only one way we're not alone there's so many ways that we're not alone like you don't understand and you also have a consciousness in your consciousness, you have a subconsciousness. Subconsciousness is where you go into when you fall asleep. Okay? The frontal cortex is what you use when you're awake, the front part. I've researched that pretty good too, a uh, pretty good amount. Anyways, a lot of people also don't want to know how much you know, they want to know how much you care. But sometimes when someone knows a lot or they feel they know a lot, they do want to know what you know and how much you care. Because, let's say a child, K-1, 
cares a lot. Oh, they care about me, but they don't know very much, so I'm not going to go to them for answers. Even though the person cares about me, they don't know a lot. So, you know, you're just like, oh, that's cool, or that's cute, I'm going to go to someone that knows what they're talking about. You see what I'm saying? So that's the difference there, one of the differences there. So, our soul, our spirit, is from heaven in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, I believe. I think it's verse 11, but the spirit goes back to God, the this body goes back to the ground when you pass. It goes back to where it came from. Both go back to where they came from. And some people say, oh, the spirit is the spirit is in the blood. Uh, the spirit is the blood. There is no spirit. Yes, there is spirit. God is spirit. If you defy, if you, if you shun the spirit, then you're shunning God. You're shunning everything that exists in the spirit, which is also actually us. We exist in the spirit, but we're sown to the body. Like I said, watch the video that I came out with. So Bunk gang didn't already know about the Bible until he went to jail for a few months. Then he started finding out all about the Bible. So when you're at your lowliest point, you can look that scripture up too. When you're at your lowest point, you're the close, you're very close to God. And you're very close. And they like they very they'll a lot, a lot of times comfort you in that point of your life. They'll comfort you when you're really down like that. And it may not be through a, a spiritual touch, like they, you know, they touch the shoulder. This one lady, she went to go visit her son who had passed, and a little bird, I think it was a, ro a red robin, came over to her and was uh, chirping at her on her hand. You look up the video, it's here on YouTube. A little bird came over to her. Sometimes it'll come in different forms as well. That was cool. That video, that video hits me every time I see it because birds do not do that. And when the spiritual takes that type of form and does something like that, you can see it. It's, it's on another level. Trust me. Like, watch the video. Watch the video. Look, type in uh, my was visitor past uh, son and a bird comes to visit her. That, that video hits my, every time I watch that video, I feel, I go like, I feel my spirit going, you know, changing. Like, like. Like wow, this is this is very sad, but in a, in a in a good way, which is also hard to articulate in a human language. But it's crazy video. You guys gotta watch that video. Anyways, no matter where you are, God is with you. No matter what you've done, there's people that are spending life in jail right now. They're barely learning about God. They're barely learning that. He exists. They're really finding themselves. And it takes time. It does take time. You're always finding yourself. And we're always changing too. The one consistency also in life is change. It's always going to be changing. Everything's, oh, some people, it's good to look for stability and all that. But eventually it's going to change. It's just a fact of life. Okay? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Check links in the description.